Hello and uh, welcome to my Facebook live stream. Today I have uh, my age old rag, my beautiful uh, horn. This thing is probably older than your kids. Um, I'm good at it and I practiced a lot. That being said, I have a broken finger, a chipped tooth, my neck is all smashed up. I'm missing some ribs probably. I don't know what those doctors did. Maybe they just left it on my side. And uh, my diaphragm is all fucked up from uh, smoking cigarettes. That being said, I'm still probably better than a high schooler. Um, and uh, for that uh, purpose, I've determined the need to serenade you, my lovely Facebook, with a euphonium uh, uh, classical improvisation. Usually jazz musicians improvise and uh, classical musicians read from a sheet but I've been practicing my improvisations the last four or five times I did it sounded great and I wasn't even trying. So uh, it would make a probably a good ballad, a good concerto. Um, and uh, if I wanted to write it down on paper, I would have to record the sound, which is what this is for basically is to record the sound, get the notes written out on uh, uh, my music program, and then add flourishes and uh, running eighth note sequences and stuff like that to make it even better. So without further ado, let's uh, play some euphonium. I've got movie playing in the background. I just got this thing, it's called War Games with Matthew Broderick. He looks like a young Sylvester Stallone in this movie. The smart guy, Sylvester Stallone, and Stallone is a strong guy. And uh, um, he's trying to escape uh, military detention because he was playing uh, violent video games back in the 1980s when shit like that was uh, uh, elite hacker uh, feed. Um, so anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, on to the euphonium. for the last week for my back. Okay, month, okay, month. I sleep like this, pops my shoulder up. Ugh, not good for horn playing. I need a new body. <laughs> Thank you. 
as my embouchure can handle before uh, my face starts feeling like it's going to explode and I used to like plow right through that and play for like an hour and a half at a time for a total of six hours per day all through high school I was in the jazz band I was in the all city band I was in the concert band I was in the full orchestra I was in the marching band I took lessons on the weekend with my uh, um, euphonium tutor I uh, I practiced at home. I got to school early by an hour and practiced in the morning. I practiced during lunch. Um, it wasn't easy um, getting good at euphonium, but um, it was one of the few outlets I had um, that made me feel like I was unique and wanted and uh, good at what I did. Um, I was also into math and uh, computers and uh, what else? I wasn't really big on science. I kind of liked physics, but I wasn't good at it. And I did a lot of like uh, audio physics, uh, wavelengths and uh, uh, volumes and, you know, like, like calculating how this equals this based on tube length and the volume of the air in the tube, stuff like that. Um, just to get a better understanding of how music works. Um, wasn't my primary interest for a long time after that uh, because I kind of burned out and I lost my um, my organizational structure after I graduated from high school which crushed me mentally and psychologically I was so depressed I had nothing to do imagine like a six hour a day habit disappearing and having to fill that void with something else and it was as you can imagine very uh, difficult um, for me to uh, continue uh, with all of that um, missing from my life. So I, I, I got into a lot of bad habits and um, just now these days I, I play a couple hours a month, nothing major, uh, just to soothe my nerves if I'm having a panic attack or uh, lots of hallucinations from my uh, visual cortex uh, being broadcasted messages from my uh, monitor here or the television or through those big glass windows projected from some uh, Byzantine uh, line of sight from outer space. Uh, I'll pull out my horn and I'll start playing and that'll center me and get me focused on uh, the act of creation of something that I can manage and live with and something I'm in control of, I hope, if my brains aren't completely like antenna you know, like an ant where I'm like under a radio control or whatever, like a RC car, you know, maybe, maybe that's why I'm good at euphonium or maybe it's because I practiced a lot. Uh, either way, 
um, I find that it helps a lot emotionally um, to practice and do things that I'm interested in uh, when I'm feeling down. So um, I might write on Facebook. That can get frustrating because I don't have a lot of uh, people following and responding to my posts. I can play some video games. That can be frustrating because they're really violent. Or I can play euphonium, which I've always seen as sort of a, a solitary craft first and a, a group participatory activity second. Whereas um, a lot of my other activities and habits uh, make less sense unless someone else is reading them or, or, or participating. Like you can't play Monopoly with one player, for example. And I I have a I have Monopoly like right over here on my bookshelf, but you know, nobody to play with. So I, I hope um, one day this, this might become an interesting paradigm, this, uh, this camera euphonium with like a studio going around, like maybe uh, a, a group of musicians could each pull out their horns from at home and play the live stream of their companions um, on their instruments and on their speakers Meanwhile, they're recording themselves on their microphone and uh, webcam and all come together to perform uh, action at a distance, as it were. Um, I think that would be a really cool element. And I, I heard uh, actually Jason Gordon-Levitt, I don't know if you know him, he's the guy from Inception and Third Rock from the Sun, was trying to promote a system for cooperative, uh, cooperative uh, creative work along those lines so it's it's definitely the future today we can do it there's no reason we can't and uh i uh, i just wish i had uh a band that i could participate with and play or you know do anything like you want to you want to like start world war three with webcams you know good luck you're not going to get very far but we can at least uh toot our doodly horns and uh um be be happy with uh um, our contributions to society along those lines. Um, I might stream some more horn another day if I get a good response to this video. I'll ask my mother and sister and uh, my little niece and my brother-in-law and my stepfather if, uh, if they've seen the video and if they would like to um, perhaps uh, uh, encourage me to do this further but you know that's pretty much my my target audience I've got uh, like 50 friends on Facebook if you guys want to listen and comment I would love to hear your your views in the comment section to the right on PC and if it's on phone you've got me you've got me I don't know how to um, do the layouts on phones I'm, I'm a keyboard and mouse kind of guy um, leave, leave me a comment if you want to post your your own live stream video, um, just go to Facebook on your PC with a webcam enabled. Um, click on the comments, click the live stream button, and live stream yourself playing some music. If you want to put my music in the background and play over it with your own composition, it's B flat major. I threw in an F sharp. I think I might have thrown in an E natural and an A natural. Um, I don't think I played any A flats. Um, there were some low C's. My, my F was a little nasty. The low F was a little nasty. Um, and I think I might have played a, a high E flat and a C. And it was mostly F's and D's and uh, C's and stuff like that. Not grades you want to make in school, but definitely good sounding notes. So um, F, a, a, through, a through F. Uh, is my note catalog. There's 12 notes in a scale. Let me play for you the scale that I was uh, um, improvising in and pretty much all of my notes were selected from this scale which is a B flat major and uh, the the only thing that was added in was like I said the, the couple of like scoop notes to get a, just a little bit of tension, you know? Just like squeeze it out a little and make it feel better. So here's the B flat scale. And that scale, ladies and gentlemen, is magic. I know all my scales 
Uh, some of them, I've never seen a piece written in them. I've never even performed them uh, for a concert band, but I know them nonetheless, and uh, I, I can play through them from memory uh, using the finger patterns and the, the airflow and embouchure vibrations, which is like this. <laughs> And when you plug it into the horn, it amplifies the vibrations and kind of uh, funnels them through this Byzantine pathway of pipes and tubes and valves and uh, little releases full of spit. I, I have a trash can there, don't worry. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, it, it funnels it through all this Byzantine architecture and somehow, still magic to me, even after all I've studied, somehow produces the music that we hear as a, a euphonium. This isn't a tuba. It's, it's much smaller than a tuba, and it's in the same vocal range as a trombone. Although with the steadiness of having it in your lap and the bell orientation and no, no slide like shaking you around and stuff, uh, it's a little bit easier to play higher and lower on a euphonium and faster than a trombone because I have to do this to go from an F to a D whereby a trombone player would have to go from first position to fourth position moving their entire arm and I get away with a finger so I, I'm, I'm doing much better on speed than a trombone with this thing that being said it's not the most popular instrument in the world and uh, that being said I love playing it and I, I'm happy to have shared it with you Thank you for watching. Have a good night. And uh, um, if the movie's indication, uh, we might have nuclear war with Russia soon. So maybe pick up an instrument, uh, get that off your bucket list, and uh, uh, have a good have a good life. Goodbye.